All right, hey everyone, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about stripping single conductor with your wire strippers, okay? In the last video, I talked to you about how to strip the jacket off of your wire, but when it comes to actually stripping the single conductor, there's a lot of uh, things I've seen apprentices do. They're quite rough on the wire, and what they don't realize is that copper is actually very, very brittle, especially if you score it. So for example, if we use the wrong uh, slot here, because each slot, right, if we look here, we have, uh, so this is stranded, this is a solid conductor, all right? So we're looking here on the solid side. So this is 14, so we wanna be three down, but sometimes people use you know, the different ones and they don't pay attention. So let's say we use the wrong one, okay? So what I wanna show you is you can see that this is scored, okay? You can see it in there. And so as soon as copper is scored, it's actually still pretty strong. Like if, you know, if you're just gonna splice your wires and you don't touch it after that, it's still quite strong. But what happens is if you do start bending your copper, Okay, like back and forth, like this. Look how easy that breaks off. Okay, it broke off pretty easy. And so, watch, if I take the same copper and I try to bend it a couple times, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay, so nine. And, and so what happens is, yes, it, it gets hot, it gets weak, and, and, and it'll, it'll break on you. So that was about nine times. So because it's scored, so one, two, oh, Two, all right? Okay, so that's what I wanna start the video off with is uh, people who are brand new to dealing with wires, uh, you know, apprentices, they don't realize that the integrity of the wire is everything as an electrician, okay? So before we get into this video where I talk to you about how to strip your wires and make sure that your wire is strong, definitely check out my free book for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. You can sign up with your name and email and I'll give you the book absolutely for free. You can download it, okay? Okay, so again, uh, these are my favorite strippers as an electrician. There's tons of different wire strippers out there. These ones are my favorite, okay? Uh, these are either by Greenlee or Klein. But so what I wanna talk about is, again, so over here we have our solid and we have our stranded. And if you notice, the stranded is actually one bigger, okay? Because it's all about the integrity of the wire. So for example, if we are gonna strip a 14 uh, solid, you can see it's here. But if we wanna strip a 14 stranded, it's actually one bigger. So the 14 stranded is equivalent to the 12 solid, so it goes bigger, okay? All right, so in order to strip your wire, pretty straightforward, you're gonna take your wire and you just put it into, this is 14 gauge, and you strip it. Very often I find if I let go just a little bit, then I can pull it. Okay, sometimes if you don't know what wire size it is, you can even test. So for example, you can see it goes into the 14 pretty easily there. What I have seen over the years is the apprentice many times goes like this. They're like, like just giving her like, like this. And then they, and they, they are actually trying to pull it off. And when you're doing that, it does make it harder because you know, you're bending the wire. But I just wanna show you that when you are that aggressive, that's what's happening to your copper. And again, let's just try that, okay? So I'm gonna take my pliers, I'm gonna grab it right here, and you can see this is where it's all scored from being really aggressive on it. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so after four, it snaps. And again, that is the integrity of your wire. So I know some people, they will go like this and strip the wire. I've always liked to put the wire this way, okay? So like, let's say it's in the box. I would like to kind of put the wire this way, and I always found that I got the most strength by having it in here and pushing. Okay, now again, this was a clean strip, okay? I was not aggressive on it. And let's try to do the bend, okay? So before it was nine. So one, two, three, four, and I'm being very aggressive. Five, six, seven, eight. So again, that's just showing you guys that if you don't score the wire, your wire is much stronger. And as an electrician, it's all about the integrity of the wire. A couple more tricks I wanna show you guys is, sometimes uh, what you could do is you can double strip, okay? And this is totally cool because you are putting it in the 14 and the 12, okay? So the 12 is actually bigger than the wire. And so you're not gonna compromise the wire. And so usually when I do that, you just kind of line them up, you just wiggle them a little bit to try to get them lined up. And so I'm gonna put them in here and we're gonna strip them and you're gonna see, oh, 
Okay, it did work, okay? So again, uh, just depending on the positioning and also if it is in the box, um, and you can see I, 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 I scored it a little bit, but something like that actually isn't too bad, okay? It, maybe the cameras make it look worse. Uh, it does take a little bit more effort. It's a little bit harder on your hands. So if you do just want to uh, strip one wire at a time, it will allow your wire to be, you know, it, it'll make sure that the integrity of your wire is better. The last thing I want to share with you guys is a big problem for apprentices when they first get started up and they're trying to learn to strip wires and they're trying to learn to uh, splice, okay? Because that, that's going to be our next video about splicing. Um, many times what they do is they strip their wires so small. Like they'll be like, you know, this and then this. And if it's just two wires, like especially, okay, so first of all, we have to talk about 14 gauge, okay? So if you're only dealing with in homes with 14 gauge, this is so easy to work with. You know, like you can almost, you could all, almost splice it with like your, your hands. Like once, once it goes to the second turn, like that's gonna hurt you a lot, but you can get it started. Once you deal with like 12 gauge wire and 10 gauge wire, it doesn't work like that. It's very, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's too big, okay? Too big for our human hands. So what I wanna share with you guys is, if you guys are having struggle splicing your wires, what I suggest to you guys is strip it longer. There's nothing wrong with stripping it longer. It makes the splicing way easier. And then once you're done, you cut it to trim it, and then you put your moret on. Uh, over time, also uh, your hand strength, like your thumb, to be able to squeeze the wires is gonna get stronger, okay? Um, and the longer your wire, just the easier it is on your body, on your hands, Okay, one other thing I wanna pass on to you guys, okay, this is a little pro tip. Sometimes it's like kind of brittle and sometimes it's really hard to strip. Sometimes it's just like the batch of wires that you get. Sometimes what happens is like, it's, it's like that, right? And you have the potential like to hit your fingers on the box and trust me, I've done it so many times where you go to strip it and it's like, it's like, it's not coming. And then finally it goes, like as you can see, even this one was hard, um, but you strip it and it, you just slip and you hit your hand. Sometimes if you're in a sketchy situation, like I said, you can just do this. You can do this and it pulls off super easy, okay? So again, there's some tips for how to strip your single conductor as an electrician, and I hope it helps you out, okay? You can strip it longer to make your life easier. You can do that double strip technique. Again, If um, when you're doing the double strip technique, really make sure about the integrity of the wire that it's not scored, because like I showed you, as soon as you score that wire, it is, no, it is not even close to as strong, okay? Copper is soft, it's a soft metal. As it is, it's pretty strong, right? We can splice the wires together, it's strong, but as soon as you score it, you can break it. And then again, that little pro tip that, you know, if, uh, if the wire is really hard to get off, you can just strip it, and then you can take your pliers and you can easily just pull it off, okay? So it's all about knowing just the tricks of the trade to make your life easier out there. All right, so there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to strip single conductor. A lot of pro tips in there. If you guys would like more videos from me here at Becoming an Electrician, subscribe on YouTube and don't forget about my free book I have for you guys as apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe and you guys can enter in your name and email and you guys can download the book absolutely for free. I will email it to you, okay? So I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far. Again, leave your questions in the comments below and I can create different videos. I have a bunch of different material like this now and uh, I'm, I'm here to help uh, guide and help you along the way. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you in the next video. Don't forget about the free book. <music>